All right, I'm outside of Stream Bank. It is at the end of a cul-de-sac. Two story here, wood exterior. And there is a soft curb that you could pull up to pull through to the back. Here's a little bit of cracking in the cement that they've patched to make sure that uh, it doesn't continue. Has a nice covered front porch and we're looking out to the mountain views. All right, I'm zooming out as we go in. When you enter the house, you have wood flooring. It is a tiled area over here. And tiled in the dining room, living room. The kitchen has the wood flooring again. Here in the kitchen, we have stainless steel appliances, laminate countertops, uh, then a white refrigerator on this side, oak cabinetry and a high bar. They have a little bench area that is built in and then they've placed a table there. The backyard. This door does have a doggy door cut into it. Hello? No doggies. Okay, I'm going to go real quick. Here's the backyard with the elevated shed on the back to make it um, level. The Because it drops off there. Little gate to the park area. dog poo that needs to get picked up. There's raked piles of it. And then in here we have the shed. They're using as additional storage. The side of the shed sloping away. And then this side of the shed. And you'll see how they braced it. I'm actually hearing humming from the lines. I don't know if you can see the power lines. Okay, let's go back here. Here's the side yard where you could pull the RV. Exterior looks nice, but I'm hearing that humming. Just FYI. Oh, and then this side. There's that side of the yard. Okay. Let's head in. Back inside, we have the vaulted living room, shelf up there for putting decor if you wish. Let's go look at the pantry. Wood shelves, laundry room, vinyl flooring. This goes to the garage, two car garage, standard size, no bump outs. They've got some portable shelves here. And then here is a bathroom. 
So this would be for your company. Okay. All right, so that's the first floor. Let's head downstairs. And then you can hear me wheezing as I'm going up. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, <laughs> down we go. We've got carpeted flooring. And his music room. It's a nice family room. I'll look at that closet last. The space under the stairs he's using to store his equipment. It has a closet here that looks like it goes to the water heater and furnace. But the doors are, I'm not going to mess with them. They're a little off. And then we have a bathroom here. It's a half bath. This is access to the crawl space. And they've got cable running through to here for probably computers. So this could be closed off from this wall to this wall if you wanted to make this um, a little private area. But with the utility room right there, I'm not sure if that's code. So let's go over here and look at this closet space. And in here we have the water turn off. And the sump pump is underneath that right there. The sump pump keeps water away from the house. Okay. Let's head upstairs. Back on the main floor. We will head through. Oh, this is a closet door. And up the stairs again. <clears throat> At the top of the stairs, we have the full bathroom. Single vanity, vinyl flooring, tile surround, an overlook to the uh, living room below, view of the poles and wires, and the master suite, huge. <clears throat> There's the view. And the master. <clears throat> Vinyl flooring into the bathroom, no door. Linen, double vanity, soaking tub, it's a big size, shower, and that bath, the toilet. Excuse me. Walk-in closet, not huge, but good size. There you go for the master. All right, let's head to the other bedrooms. Two more bedrooms on this level. Second bedroom, standard size, 12 by 11, I think. Overlooking the side of the house. And wood shelf, standard closet. And then finally, the other bedroom, another good sized bedroom with a step in closet. You can step in, I saw, but they'll probably call it a walk in. And the views from this room are to the front with the mountains. All right, that's it for Springbank. I'll go on to the next one.